So let's give everything to the Dutch front. We're now shooting down equal numbers. There we go, our numbers are going up. Never fear, the RAF is here. Oh no, that was a bad round again. Now we outnumber them. Why? What is this? Air detection. Our air detection stinks. Our efficiency is really good. Their detection is really good. Uh, is that a radar issue? Yeah, we have limited coverage of the radar over there. I think I'm going to have to boost you to a level 3. I'm going to say that's a priority now. Of course their fighters have now appeared here. Damn it! But nothing is fighting here. This is where the fighting is, and this is where the air superiority is important! How? Oh, they're taking the maker. Take it back! Two thousand planes. I guess we have a thousand seven hundred now, but oh jeez. I really hope that's the older planes losing to their newer ones, because I've been building Spitfires for a long time now. But clearly we need more. Belgium won't give military access. That was part of the problem in the Second World War. Belgium wanted absolutely nothing to do with the Allies because they were scared of provoking the Germans. Oh no, they would actually give it. Oh, tanks are here now. Where are they? Oh no, they're not. Fall of Warsaw. Republic of Poland is now a government in exile. Alright, so we're about to have a whole bunch of troops crashing into us here. Yes, we'll take your heavy weapons convoys, thank you. to take Eindhoven back again. Polish exile leader, office service, Philip Kiatkowski. Cool. So this guy shouldn't last for very long. 
now that my tanks have arrived. Although they're poor quality tanks. I think it's time for me to deploy the heavies. Stay in a separate army and just train for a bit. Move out. Ready, sir. We need to stop their reinforcements getting here. Right, you you're fully motorized now, right? No, shoot. Your speed is only four still. Probably because you're using ancient tanks. Ah, we're losing our units down here. Okay, we're in. And then immediately gets pushed back again. Hedgehog Mortars are finished, Recon Companies 2 is finished. With support for the war growing in the United States, a recent bill has been passed in which America can provide indirect aid, helping the economic and military aid. We can hopefully expect weapon and fuel shipments in the coming weeks. Uh, cool. Okay, I'm gonna go and research signals. All right, time to start going ahead of time. I'm surprised we've managed to hold out up there. That's actually kind of impressive. Here come the German tank divisions, though. Under fire. And we now need to basically say, don't guard that, guard that. This is getting harder and harder. Then breaking through a name ache is really bad. How are we doing on... Deficits. That's what I wanted to look at. Uh, actually, kind of under control now. That's good. Why the hell do I have a convoy going through here? Yeah, how about we don't go through this, guys? Find other routes. that into an actual front line. Attention. To try to take those two locations back again. And then have the tanks Eindhoven. Because Eindhoven I think we can hold. Namek is gonna be the hard one. Yep, 
if and when the heavy tanks arrive. We'll have some more firepower to support us. That is a lot of tanks coming in. Soviet Union and Poland decide to wipe peace. Good, good, good. USSR occupies Eastern Poland. Multi-role... oh! Uh, touch them. Here comes the next big attack. So why are my units performing so much worse than the French ones? I thought my templates were okay, but apparently not. Oh, I actually have a whole bunch of AT here. Okay, so we should be able to actually grind those German tanks down. to lose another bunker area and then we're defending Amsterdam oh no we're defending Utrecht which is urban which should make it easier for us I'm gonna say and we'll just dig in in Utrecht surprise Belgium's holding out for so long I mean, I'm not, because Germany's not at war with them. <laughs> Belgium's still neutral. The Soviet-German trade agreement with the Soviet Union and the German Reich have signed a commercial agreement between them. With this agreement, the Soviets seek to boost their industrial development and re military research, while the Germans look to uh, look for the important look for the import of much-needed raw materials such as grain, oil, and iron. Right, now that we're at war... Ah, here's the US war measures. US weapons would be really helpful. Weapons for the Polish resistance. Huh? Oh, you know what? I still haven't done war economy. I feel like enough time now has passed. But well, we'll wait until the Royal Ordnance Factories is finished and then we'll do the war economy thing. Well, I feel like the Netherlands is holding out a lot better than it did historically, so yay, progress! Uh, that's true, this is still 39. So is France in a war economy? I'm gonna guess they are. Nope! <laughs> no they are not! Neither is Germany. Germany's still on partial mobilization, which is the same as me. Interesting. Are we still getting absolutely spanked in skies? Yes. Even though our air efficiency is so much higher. It's definitely me that's been losing planes, but I don't know if it's Spitfires or if it's the old ones I've been losing. 
How come is that the RAF is underperforming outnumbered? Oh man, you're going to take a long time to train up. Fighting strength is at 57%. Oh, it's because of the manpower losses. I was like, but you're only three light tanks short. How are you doing so badly? No, it's because a bunch of your troops have been shot. Because they're just cavalry. And Italy hasn't joined the war yet. Like we're about to lose down there. We did. I need to look out for. You guys stay where you are. Stop moving. Uh, actually, one of you should go to Rotterdam and hold on to Rotterdam. I'm actually a little tempted to just give this area up to make sure we hold on to Rotterdam and Amsterdam. Yeah, let's do that. Time to back off. Don't attack me. I just need you fortifying, not attacking. Are you moving into Amsterdam? Let's make sure you don't take Amsterdam before I'm there guarding it. Okay. Stop attacking! Do I want to give Utrecht up? Because if Amsterdam falls first, then we really are screwed. Okay. Ah, they've crossed up in the north. How much longer do I stay here, Netherlands? This is getting very, very, very fishy. Amsterdam is holding for the moment. I just need my units to reposition. Okay, Amsterdam held. Good. But now you're coming... Oh! Pause. In behind me. Uh, I had not expected that to be a problem. The danger here is this, because they've crossed in Nord Holland and they can get to this. Attention. 
I've done what I could. I'm out. Peace! <laughs> Oh no, my tank division got stuck. Oh no, it didn't. We're good, we're good. Orders. Oh right, I never actually gave you orders of where to go. You head over to that. Meanwhile, Amsterdam and Utrecht are still holding. For now. This tank division is so bad. <laughs> tank division at least now has a bit more experience so that's good and off you go all right we're out we escaped oh atomarius and Skeletor and Weetolo wanting me to drink some tea. So Weetolo, this one's for you. Seeing as I literally just finished the tea. Skeletor! Mm -hmm. And then Artemarius. And then Xanthar coming in with a 31 month resubscription. Thank you very much for that, Xanthar. I appreciate it. We saved the Netherlands, Patrick. Yay! Except we really didn't. Current legitimacy is seven. Really? I felt like the Dutch did better than seven legitimacy. But we got out. We actually saved everyone except for one division. Okay, well, let's go back to France. Attention! You know what, having the motorised in that fight probably would have been useful. Oh well. <clears throat> yeah, Harold Alexander doesn't have any specialities. He probably should, because he's almost certainly going to hit level 6. Need to see what I need. Oh, he's already in. Wait, how is he already in? He doesn't have any specialities. Oh, he's a theorist. Right, so we have got Kenneth Anderson, who is the infantry expert. We have got logistics expert, which is Orkinlek. We've got motorized and tank guys, which are these two, which are already in use. Ready. Um, who was the infantry guy? Currently, Kenneth Anderson, who is an expert. Orders. Harold Alexander would also be an infantry expert. Oh no, that's a level 6. Level 4 is um, specialist.
We do have quite a lot of artillery. Can make you into an artillery specialist. Because remember, the way that this works has changed. It's it's now based on the actual units in your army. It's it's not is your army mostly artillery? Then it's an artillery division. Uh, do we know what Germany is working on? Germany is working on... We have no idea. Now, where's the Air Force? Here. Northern France, but that kind of makes sense. Our aircraft should reposition here once our units do. Which they are currently doing. Oh wow, <laughs> our frigates are shooting down their naval bombers quite happily. Crikey, our frigates are doing more damage to their planes than our fighters are. Oh hey Poland, what you got for me? Ooh, a mountaineer. Well, I think that these two infantry divisions... So one's a light infantry... Actually, no, this is a heavy infantry. You're lighter. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick both of you in Harold's army. And then the mountaineers I might actually send down to uh, Gibraltar. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we're actually fighting some submarines. Are we being at all effective? No. <laughs> no, we're not. We are providing 100% screening, though. We're just not detecting them. Which would rather suggest that I do need to take the Azores from Portugal and then put a radar there. Or at least an airbase. In fact, having an airbase in the Azores, I can really see the importance of that. We could also take the Dutch Navy. No, I want the Dutch to have their own navy, otherwise they can't use Helfrich. Convince Norway to join the Allies. German aggression towards the neutral countries of the West has proven they do not care about the country's neutrality if they stand in their way. Using this fact, we can convince Norway to join the Allies. Because that's going to use up some political power, which I'd rather save. Woodlands factory is almost done, then I can go to the war economy. Alright, we are fighting a lot of submarines. Like, we're still getting 100% screening efficiency, which is the important thing. Why are we not spotting them? we're too big. 